we've seen that breaking files into chunks can alleviate problems caused by large datasets. Before introducing Dask, let's see how to use generators to help. Recall our work from before. We iterated over 1,000 line chunks from a CSV file of taxi ride data. We then filtered the individual chunks, applying a function within a list comprehension. If we replace the enclosing brackets with parentheses in a list comprehension, the result is a generator expression. Generator expressions resemble comprehensions but use lazy evaluation. This means that elements are generated one at a time, so they are never in memory simultaneously. This is extremely helpful when operating at the limits of available memory. We can quickly build another generator, distances, whose elements are totals of the trip distance column from each chunk. No actual computation is done until we iterate over the chained generators explicitly, in this case by applying the function sum to distances. To reiterate, no reading or work is done until the very last step. The generator's chunks and distances persist in this computation, However, they've been consumed after, that is, trying to use the next function on either produces a stop iteration exception. This tells users that the generator is exhausted. Let's use generators now to read many files. We use a slightly different collection of CSV files that describe yellow cab rides in New York City. We use the string format method and a generator file names to generate names of CSV files for each month of 2015. Imagine here that rather than having one large file to read in chunks, we have many large individual files that cannot fit in memory simultaneously. Let's examine one of the CSV files using pd.readcsv. We force columns one and two to be read in as date time objects. For this data, we have to calculate the trip duration explicitly. We embed this calculation within a function count long trips that filters trips longer than 20 minutes and counts the total number of trips and long trips. These two values are returned in a data frame with one row. With the function count long trips in place, we can organize our work into a pipeline using generators. We recreate file names, this time as a list comprehension. It's just a list of 12 strings, so a generator is not required. We create a generator data frames to load the files listed in file names one by one. We create another generator totals that applies count long trips to each data frame from data frames. Finally, the actual computation takes about 13.4 seconds on my laptop. For now, notice all computations are deferred until we compute sum of totals. Using the built-in sum function consumes the generator. The computed data frame annual totals has two columns, n long and n total. The ratio then is the fraction of trips over 20 minutes in duration over the year 2015, roughly 20%. Okay, now it's time for you to experiment with generators yourself in the exercises.